When I first came to California, I was signed by Paramount Pictures, and I was uh, I was going around the lot meeting the people that that were head of departments and things, heads of departments and things like that. And and Bing was making a picture with Bob Hope and Dorothy Lamour called Road to Ballet, and he was riding his bicycle and. Uh, and the gentleman that was the head of the talent department uh, introduced me to him. And we were going to do a, a, a radio show. He was then doing the Craft Music Hall. And so he said, uh, I understand we're going to do a radio show together. And I, I was so in awe, really, of him that I answered very stupidly. I said, I said, yes, I think we're going to do it sometime in the 20s. But I meant toward the end of the month. And I, I felt as though I behaved so uh, so strangely that when he got back to his dressing room after the uh, end of the day, mine was my dressing room was kind of close by, so I walked over and I said, you have to understand that I never really thought that I'd ever meet you in person. And so I behaved, well, just a little strangely. So I'd I'd like to apologize for that and, uh, and perhaps we can be friends. And he said, well, I think we probably can. And so that was the, the beginning. And... We did radio shows together, and uh, I started doing the the clam bake, which is the 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 entertainment part of the the Pebble Beach golf tournament every year. So I started doing that, and uh, we just became very very close friends. He rehearsed a lot by himself, and so when you came to the first rehearsal with Bing, you had better be prepared as far as your own material was concerned, because he was, and so it was just a question of putting it together. He worked by himself. Later on, when he had tape, he could uh, he could work just with a little tape machine and uh, and and study you know songs that way because he didn't read and neither did I. And so we we phrase things alike. I think because we could look at each other and and uh, and kind of sense what the other was going to do. He liked traveling with his family, and I think that people liked seeing them together too. And it was a, a side that perhaps no one knew about Bing until uh, until they started performing together. I think that uh, in Harry Crosby's case, for instance, it was a, a, a genuine interest. Mary Frances, too. Mary Frances is now one of the most sought-after actresses in, in television and in films as well. Uh, Nathaniel, on the other hand, the, the youngest member of the family, I don't think was terribly interested in it, and so he he was going along with it for the rest of the family because Nathaniel's interest is in golf. Period. That's about it. He seemed to be of his time when he was alive. He seemed to be a contemporary of everybody that he worked with, and that included David Bowie and and uh, and Twiggy on the on the uh, Christmas shows that they, that they did with him. It uh, it seemed to me that they were very compatible. I think he was very, he's a very strong man and uh, very self-disciplined. Perhaps that carried over in his expectations of other people's behavior. Um, but I don't think that he was unreasonable and terribly professional about his work and very giving as a performer. I think he was, to me, uh, a great teacher and a very, very close friend.